Hey, what's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you this fun video for Divinity Original Sin on basically just how to kill anything in the game. So this is actually a heavy part of the speedrunning process, especially for Honor Mode and the last boss. Now basically this is just how to kill any enemy using Divinity Original Sin's slightly broken weight mechanic. How does this actually work? I'm going to explain how it works and then I'm going to show it working. So, so what telekinesis actually does is of course allows you to perform telekinesis, but more specifically it allows you to move objects with your mind up to a vastly, vastly high weight. As far as I know, it's an infinite weight. I don't know the exact number, but I've literally never managed to hit the cap. But it does say there's a cap. Basically, the telekinesis just allows you to move an object of pretty much any weight a increasing distance for every point you put into telekinesis. Now, unlike Divinity Original Sin 2, the ability points required to advance a skill actually keep increasing. Level 1 will cost 1 point, level 2 will cost 2 points, level 3 will cost 3 points, so on and so forth. Now, once you actually have all of the points in telekinesis, you can actually move an object quite far. Now, how is this broken? Well, basically, there are elemental barrels of sorts, like oil, water, poison barrels, that kind of thing in the game. Now, individually, they're pretty much the heaviest objects in the game, or at least one of the heaviest objects, I should say, besides like rocks and things like that, which you wouldn't normally be able to pick up anyway. But these barrels, you can pick them up. They each weigh about 60 pounds. So combine that with a chest. So chest, especially an ornate chest, ideally, is about 50 pounds by itself. And you can just pick up a chest and put it into your inventory. What you can then do from there is actually put the 60 pound barrels inside the chest because of the game's rather broken, you know, inventory system. You can just put those barrels into that chest and it'll work just fine. If you were to then set that chest back down, its weight is now cumulative for everything in the chest. So you get the 50 pounds for the ornate chest, plus all of the weight from every single barrel you've managed to put in there. Now, as you can imagine, this can equate to literally thousands of pounds worth of weight. And as I just mentioned, telekinesis allows you to move objects with your mind instead of your strength stat, which means you don't have to have the strength stat to actually lift the actual weight that is there. You can just use telekinesis, which gives you pretty much any weight limit. Again, I've never been able to reach the cap. I don't know what it actually is. I'm assuming there probably is one but I've never reached it. So with that in mind, you can then use telekinesis to move this chest an increasing distance. The movement starts off pretty small with telekinesis one, but by telekinesis five, you can move the chest pretty far. So at this point, we have this giant weighted chest and we're going to drop it on things, basically using telekinesis. Now, the game won't let you just drop a chest directly where an enemy is standing, unfortunately, so you have to aim for its feet and kind of maneuver the chest around a little bit until you find that sweet spot. But you will be able to essentially drop this chest on things using telekinesis over and over and over again. Pretty much every enemy will die within two or three hits. The in-game boss with enough barrels will go down in about two hits, even on honor mode, which I will actually show you here. So this is just a trick to kill anything in Divinity Original Sin, basically, by abusing some of the system's mechanics. Now, before we wrap this video up, regardless of whether or not you have telekinesis, picking that chest up is actually going to root you in place because you're gonna become encumbered because you know your character obviously can't lift thousands of pounds and must walk with that. However, they can still have it in their inventory regardless. So they can still have it in their inventory even if they then can't walk, which means they're encumbered, of course. But we bring in Divinity's famous teleporter pyramid mechanic. So early in the game, we are given teleporter pyramids, which let characters teleport to and from each pyramid. So basically, you put a teleporter pyramid on a person who can actually move around freely, get into combat or whatever you're doing, then have the other character with the chest then teleport to the other character who doesn't have the chest and then you can move that chest long distances without having to manually do it which would take forever and then of course you can just set it back down on the ground into the fight and hit things away with it so all of these mechanics together aren't really how the game was intended to be played. It's just an easy way to kind of cleverly use the game mechanics to break said game. Now again, I actually did mention that this is a big part of the speed running. If you're interested in that, I encourage you to look up Honor Mode speedruns of Divinity Original Sin. They're really cool and actually really easy. Divinity Original Sin is probably one of the easier games to speedrun. It doesn't require a lot of skill. You just need to know where things are, really. So uh, with that in mind, there you go, guys. Just a quick video on how to kill all of the things in Divinity Original Sin. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Stick around for more, all that kind of YouTube-y stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.